Good morning, Kilbourne. This is your WKHS News for Friday, March 15th. On this week's news, we hear about Kilbourne's March Madness predictions, go to Menchie's, learn about pickle and chill, talk to Miss Brooks about taking over the WKHS News program, and start St. Patrick's Day celebrations. Your WKHS News starts now. Kilborn, I'm Claire Schiffer. And I'm Cameron Hills. As temperatures warm up, people want cold treats. Jack and Preston take us to Menchie's to show us the new menu items. Menchie's is a casual frozen yogurt establishment that provides affordable, sweet, and quick options for a snack. Menchie's offers a dining area with a wide variety of frozen yogurt, add-ons, and drinks. Menchie's has a routine flavor change throughout the week. Menchie's is located on Samo Road in Dublin. Often new flavors come in. Like every other week. So right now our new flavors are um, cinnamon hot cocoa with Hershey's chocolate. Um, we just got fresh shredded coconut. Um, we change out our tart flavor occasionally. So right now it's blueberry or raspberry, pomegranate. Um, so yeah, we get them quite often, I would say. Tell us about the Tuesday special. So every Tuesday from 3 p.m. to close, which is 9, you can fill up your cup for as much as you want for $6.99. What's your favorite part about working at Menchie's? The free froyo I get. Make sure you go and check out Menchie's off of Sawmill Road to experience their great frozen yogurt. This has been Jack Tyler and Preston with WKHS News. Like we always do with this time, I go for mine, I get to shine. Now throw your hands up in the sky. This Sunday is St. Patrick's Day. Maddie and Parker take us around the city to show us how to celebrate. St. Patrick's Day is this Sunday, March 17th. And if you're looking for a fun way to celebrate with your friends this Sunday, we compare the new Luck of Matcha Frappuccino from Starbucks and McDonald's Shamrock Shake. First, we went to McDonald's to review the Shamrock Shake. Maddie and I both shared a small, and this cost us a whopping $3.30. For the taste test, Maddie didn't like the mint and vanilla taste together, but I thought it tasted like mint ice cream. So I give it a 7 out of 10. Maddie gives it a 4 out of 10. Next, we headed over to Starbucks to give their new look of matcha frappuccino a taste. This drink is only available from March 14th to the 17th. And we found out that if you buy this drink, you can get an additional drink of your choice in addition for free. This drink cost us $5.75. We both really enjoyed the drink and like the combination of the matcha and caramel. I give this drink a 10 out of 10. Maddie gives the drink a 8 out of 10. Have a great St. Patrick's Day and we hope you try one of these drinks this season. This has been Parker and Maddie with your WKHS News. This year, News got a new advisor, Miss Brooks. Here's how she took over the class. On this week's profile, we take a trip into the newsroom and talk to Miss Brooks about her takeover of the news. Hi, I'm Miss Brooks and I teach ComTech and Journalism. I graduated from The Ohio State University in 2022 and right after I started at Kilbourne teaching ELA 1 and ELA 2. So as a fan of the BKHS News, when the opportunity opened up to take over these courses, I volunteered and now here we are. Okay, so taking over the ComTech room has been a journey to say the least. It has been a fun journey, I will say, um, learning what goes into making the weekly news broadcast that you all see the Ravine articles that you read, the Instagram that you hopefully follow at WKHS Media, just saying. But overall, um, when it traded for the world, I love the newsroom now, and I will forever, I don't know, have a, it has a special place in my heart as a teacher. 
journalism is going to be print journalism. So instead of doing news broadcasts, you're writing articles that we publish weekly on WKHSnews.com. And we have a whole print edition of the ravine that has been here since the school even opened. So it's pretty neat how to see the difference between Comtech and journalism because while we collectively produce news, we have a lot more freedom of like writing in journalism. So the difference between Comtech and journalism is that Comtech is media journalism. So you're looking at making videos, editing in Premiere Pro, filming, learning about camera angles, and compiling it into a cohesive news story. We would love to have you in the newsroom. So if you ever are interested in joining us, you can sign up for either Comtech or journalism with your counselor. But hopefully I see you one day. This has been Alex Chan and Carly Garrett with your WKHS News. Playing pickleball has become very popular recently. There is a new indoor facility called Pickle and Chill. Here is Will and Jacob with their inside look. This week we went to Pickle and Chill, an indoor pickleball club located off of Henderson Road. Pickle and Chill has many indoor pickleball courts along with a bar and a balcony area overlooking the courts. They also have pickleball courts outside with many other yard games like cornhole and spike ball that are open during the summer. We asked picklers and workers about their time at Pickle and Chill. I really like the location of Pickle and Chill and that it's affordable for every game and that they have like fun activities on the weekends. Pickle and Chill started um, whenever the OSU women's tennis team got their own facility on campus because they used to use this facility for tennis. Um, so our owner was trying to come up with something new to put in here so we ended up doing pickleball um, and we opened in November 2022. Um, so our club's pretty unique because we are right now the only like solely pickleball club um, that has indoor courts in uh, Columbus. There's like one more that's like up in Delaware, but basically we're the only place in Columbus that you can come um, and, and have a membership at and play. I come over here every week, Wednesdays and Fridays, Saturdays too. I've been playing for four years. I'm a four plus player, four or five plus. So I'm pretty advanced. I would recommend it for young people to start playing and uh, especially if you, if you have some kind of uh, illness, depression, uh, you want to meet people, meet friends, this is the place to be. This has been Jacob Granick and Will Evans with your WKHS News. This week on The Ravine, we highlight the Worthington Stars basketball game. And we highlight Emily Foster as Wolf of the Week. You can find all of this and more on our website, WKHSnews.com. Every year, people put in brackets for March Madness. We went around asking Kilbourne students who they think is going to win March Madness this year. This week, we went around and asked Kilbourne who do they think is going to win March Madness. And here's what they had to say. Who do you think is going to win March Madness? Tennessee. Who do you think is going to win March Madness? Arizona, probably. Uh, Kentucky. Who do you think is going to win March Madness? Uh, I got Kentucky. I got Ohio State. Who do you think is going to win March Madness? Arizona. All right. Who do you think is going to win March Madness? LeBron. Duke. Tennessee. Who do you think is going to win March Madness? The Dayton Flyers. Who do you think is going to win March Madness? Uh, Xavier. Who do you think is going to win March Madness? You know, I love this question when it comes around every year, but it's really, <laughs> it's really between two answers right now. I mean, mm -hmm. Detroit Mercy, they got to be up there because they just picked up a great win against UIPUI, mm -hmm. and, you know, they're going to shock everyone. But really, who I got is the 2021 McCord 8th grade boys basketball team. Yeah, that's Sabir and them, so I got to pick them. Who do you think is going to win March Madness? Houston. Who do you think is going to win March Madness? Tennessee. Purdue. The Lakers. Who do you think is going to win March Madness? Well, I have two teams that I like. I like UConn and I like Gonzaga. So I'm hoping that Gonzaga takes it this year. Who do you think is going to win March Madness? The Lakers. All right. Who do you think is going to win March Madness? Uh, Kansas. All right. Who do you think is going to win March Madness? I think the UConn Huskies are going to win March Madness this year. This has been Brandon Richardson and Ben Wasowski, WKHS News. Who do you think is going to win March Madness? Don't forget to fill out your brackets during your lunch periods and don't forget to bring cash. 
This has been your WKHS News. Make sure to come out and support boys lacrosse and boys volleyball this weekend. Have a fun and safe weekend, Kilborn. And remember to keep it classy. You can find all of this and more on our, on our Playing pickleball has become very popular recently. There's a new orange. We run around asking Kilborn students who they think is going to win March Madness. Madness is here.